you know what? If you want to hear, I want to. I'll tell you about Shotgun Messiah a little bit. Uh, um, when I was in high school, and I listened to you know like just your regular uh, hard rock at the time, you know, Rat, Motley Crue, all that stuff, and then along comes this band, a friend of mine. I lived in this apartment complex, and it had this like you know you have like a community pool. And so we used to hang out at the pool every day. And I remember we were hanging out at the pool. And this is back when we had boom boxes. And this uh, this kid, he pl- he's playing this song. It's unlike anything I've ever heard at the time. Okay? So um, I tell you, I'm going to play this song. This is the first Shotgun Messiah song I ever heard. And I was just like, God, that's so different. And I really like it. And you might think it's horrible. Okay? But I'm going to play it for you anyway. Okay? Hold on. That's when you shine. This is what the band would eventually become, okay? I got the CD right there. So the the bassist from the first album was the guy in the center with the cigarette and the long blonde hair. That's uh, Tim Scold, okay? Tim Scold was originally the bassist, um, not the lead singer. So the lead singer left the band, and then Shotgun Messiah came out, uh, and they got an, uh, another guy, which is the guy on the back left there. And Tim Scold became the singer of the band. I think he's still... I, I, yeah, he didn't even play bass anymore. He just became the singer of Shotgun Messiah. This is the only time I can think of where a member in a band changed positions, I guess. He, he changed instruments. He, he became the singer. And they put out this album right here, Second Coming. This is a phenomenal album, guys, okay? And it's different sounding than the song I just played you, okay? Because the, the singer's different. Um, when I heard this album, I, be, I became hooked. And I this album, I'm the CD that I'm holding in my hand right now is probably 30 years old, okay? I, I do that. I keep my CDs forever, okay? And I went to a record store back in 92 first joined the military and i i this is back when they had record signings and i went to i think it was virgin records and i went and i had all four members those four guys right there i had them sign this cd and i'm going to show you it right now this yeah this is one of my this is one of my prized possessions okay and none, none of you have heard of this band but like i'm this crazy for this band okay so yeah look at that all four members signed that back in 1992 that's almost 30 years ago and it still looks it's in great condition you know they were really cool guys too you know they were they were probably freaking 20 21 years old at the time but yeah that was so freaking cool to have them sign that now i'm gonna let you hear a song from this album okay Get ready to rock your face off, okay? It sounds more um, like alternative rock than the song you just heard, okay? So anyway, here we go. Let's listen to a little bit of this. As a matter of fact, I have this on my... Yeah, here we go. They did one kind of ballady song. And uh, this one they, they was kind of a, a hit. Uh, and you won't hear ballady songs too much from Shotgun Messiah, but this song's really good, actually. It's called Living Without You. That is uh, Born Slippy. That's not an effect. That's his real voice. So, yeah, Shotgun Messiah, they put out one more album called Violent New Breed. Violent New Breed is very different than this album, which is very different from the first album. Shotgun Messiah is one of those bands, they put out three full-length studio albums, and all three albums are very different, but equally impressive. Equally impressive. One of the few bands I can think of that did that. Violent New Breed came out... Um, 
right at the beginning of the whole grunge phase. And I would say it's groundbreaking because it's one of the first industrial sounding albums out there. Uh, I mean, I can't, this is, I think this is right around the time Nine Inch Nails might have came out, maybe before, I think before, actually. They don't get the credit they deserve, but they kind of were one of the first industrial bands. I'm going to let you hear a little bit from Violent New Breed. Uh, And this is going to sound different than what I just played you. That's what I love about this band. In the middle of your screen, but that's what the album looks like. Now, I want you to try to picture the band that I first played you, and now this. It's completely different. Okay, so, let's press forward. Shaga Messiah breaks up after this album because they they just can't, they're, they can't catch on. You know, nobody knows what to do with them, okay? So, Tim Scold is so freaking talented and loves music so much that he keeps going he finds a way you know the the, shaka messiah is gone for good but tim scold the blonde haired guy right there he's like a musical genius so what does he do he goes and works alongside a person that you all know very very well okay i'm going to show you right now that guy right there who is that guys you tell me who that is. Marilyn Manson. Tim Scold joins Marilyn Manson's band for a few years. And that's Tim Scold. He completely cut his hair, everything. But, uh, you know, he, he, he's just a very talented musician, very talented guitar player. He helped write some of the songs that uh, Marilyn Manson did. Um, yeah. He was with Marilyn Manson for a while, but he was also doing a lot of his own stuff. I follow, you know, that's the thing too, is if you're into a musician, just because they fade out and nobody loves them anymore, doesn't mean you can't still love them. If they're still making music, support them. Find what they're doing. You know, I I, I found and I found out like a few years later. I was like, what's what's Tim Skold doing now? And sure enough, I found out. Yeah, he was with Marilyn Manson. And and then he started his own um, his own career under the name Scold, S K O L D. That's his last name. He still makes music. Matter of fact, this year, this year, which I'm gonna play you this tr- uh, this track here in a minute. This year, he just put up pre-orders on his Facebook page for a new album that's coming out. He's actually put out like four or five albums under the name Scold. Uh, and I'm always trying to push his music on the people uh there's a song that came out a few years ago that i'm going to play you right now uh called triumph of the will this song is so fucking badass this is a song that came out uh i'd say like four years ago something like that uh, it's, it's off of the album uh the undoing okay it's the album is called the undoing it's just called scold all right triumph of the will here you go Listen to this shit. That's him singing. I'm going to play you Tim Skold's latest single, okay? I just heard this literally, I think this week. Anytime he puts out something new, I'm like, oh shit, I got to go, I got to listen to this. And it never disappoints. There's there's quite a few singles that I, I I'm not playing for you for time. What I'm telling you to do is if you like this stuff that I'm playing you, go do some research. Okay, go find his other stuff. I'm gonna play you his latest single though. Okay, this song's called Goodbye. All right. Let go more to 
So that's it. That's uh, that's Tim Skull. That's Shotgun Messiah. That's pretty much his whole career. I just ran through it for you guys. Okay. I I I, I always vowed to one day talk about Shotgun Messiah and Tim Tim Skull and his career, and I didn't really know how to approach it. So a, a live stream setting is the best way to do it. So that way I can actually. Now, will this get taken down after? Very possible. <laughs> Just to show that that uh, you know Tim Skull some love and Shotgun Messiah some love because uh, yeah they're they're a big you know they're one of the like everybody has those bands of their life that you know call it five bands that kind of define your life you know maybe they're maybe they're the chapters of your life Shotgun Messiah is definitely one of the chapters of my life for sure and uh, you know I'm always curious to see what Tim Skull's doing because you know he's not like freaking up there like you know some of the bigger bands that we like like you know godsmack and tool and all that stuff but he's still passionate he's still out there making music that i think is just as good you know so support those 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 bands that uh don't really get the exposure that a lot of the bigger bands do